In this video we're going to create an app which has a button and a label in it and when we click on the button it's going to update the label. Um, we're also going to keep track of a variable and we're going to change its value and that's going to be incorporated into the new label. So the first thing I want to look at is the .kv file um, which we introduced to you last time. So the root widget is actually called controller and we can see that um, here in the um, PY app in the Python um, file and it's called controller here and you can see we've got exactly the same name repeated here and um, within there we've got a box layout. I've changed the orientation to vertical and it defaults to horizontal which would mean we'd have the button on one side and the label on the other. Here I want the, bot um, the button on top and then the label underneath. If I was to put this piece of code here above this code then I'd have a label then button. So I've created a button, it has the text on it, click me, and then I've associated it with the action, um, do action. And it's going to look for this method, do action, in the Python file of the root widget, which we've already said is called controller. So if we go to controller, and we can see within controller, I've got a method that says do action. Um, then we've got our label. And just as before, we've got um, label is being given the text before. However, we've introduced this new um, aspect now. We said it's got an ID called my custom label. I can call that anything that I like. And then up here, I've got this thing that says my label, and I can use any name there as well. And then I'm saying that my label, which is in the um, right at the root part of the root um, widget, I want to associate that with my custom label. And then we go here and we understand that my custom label refers to label. So we then come to the .py file. So we know that um, we want box layout, so we've introduced box layouts, um, imported it. We know that every Kiwi app's got to in, um, import Kiwi app. So what we have here, we have our root widget, which here we tell, um, we say is a box layout. We don't have to do that here. Um, we've got the box layout part here where that control is taken care of. And we don't have to do any of the setting up of what the widget looks like. That's always taken care of in the .kv file. So I'm going to call its constructor and I've got to call the constructor for box layouts and then I want to introduce this um, new value um, label value which is um, connected with controller so it's self dot label value equals zero. Within the do action we have um, we change we say self my label well it's clear there that this my label we is associated with this um, class here and it's associated through the KV file because we can see that this my label is part of the controller class that we've created and my label is attached to the my custom label which is the label itself so here we say um, the my label which we know is my custom label is text could we change it to after and could we add on um, the value of label value and then I increment the label value by 10 each time. So the first time I click it, we're going to have after zero, and then label value is gonna to change to 10. The next time I click it, we're going to change it to after and 10 and so on. So that's how that one works. And there here we've got the app class, and the app class is called, called, called tutorial, tutorial seven app, and all it does is it returns an instance of our class widget, if you like. And if you notice here, it's called Tutorial 7 app. And to find out the information for that, it goes to a KV file called Tutorial 7. Notice it's a um, capital T here, it's a lowercase t here. And all we do here at the end is create a, an instance of Tutorial 7 app. So if I run this and 
make it so we can see what's going on. I click on click me and it says after seven. I click on just move this out of the way so we can see what's going on. I click on click me again and it's changed to 20. It's updating this value and so on. And it does that until we close down the app.